Yeah, let's go. Uh, yeah, yeah. We came a long way. That's what the song say. And I could do all Tonight, from Las Vegas, Nevada. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. We'll see Derek Carr and the Las Vegas Raiders taking on Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens. NFL football has come to Southern Nevada as we are in the menacing new Allegiant Stadium here in Las Vegas. The atmosphere here electric. No matter the venue, the home folks love their silver and black. They are fired up as their Raiders get set to face off with the Baltimore Ravens. And we are underway here in Las Vegas. Taking in at the three. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. The Ravens offense going to work, and as usual, it's Lamar Jackson, the former MVP of the league, at the helm. And what a sophomore season he had for the Cardinals. Pretty much swept every major quarterback award, including the Heisman Trophy. And we spend a lot of time talking about his legs. Formidable. He can run the ball like few others, but the key to everything for him is ability to be accurate from the pocket. The drive will start with an option going left. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. A little do-it-yourself run right there and a nice gain. Now, I like that he knew that that was about all he was going to get. So he did a nice job of protecting himself, took care of the football, took what the defense gave him. If they continue to allow him to do that, they'll find their way taking what they can all the way to the end zone. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Option play, and they'll hand to Dobbins. And he's into the clear. The 20. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. J.K. Dobbins, 70 yards. And the Ravens have taken the early lead. Well, if they didn't get the wake-up call before the game, they got it right now. Two plays already in the end zone. I think of it in boxing terms because whether it's a big shot with your first one or a probing one, a little bit of a jab, the second one was the payoff. That was the big one that landed. One, two, end zone. Justin Tucker for the extra point. And the Ravens lead at 7-0. That drive started on their own 25. Two plays, 75 yards later, into the end zone. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. 
And this will make it into the end zone. And it will come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. The Raiders set to go to work behind their veteran quarterback, and that's Derek Carr. And I'll bet he's talking to his guys about resisting the temptation to try and turn this into an up-and-down game, almost like basketball, where both teams press and one team gets an advantage, our team's trying to run with them, and they're just not equipped for it. Doesn't matter whether you're equipped or not. Just settle in, get calm before you go for the big strikes. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. First carry for Josh Jacobs. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. Well, let's face it, that's just a helpless feeling for a running back there. He's looking up to find a hole, and all he finds is a whole lot of ticked off linebacker. First play of the drive, lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. Working from the gun, it's Carr. And this ball's tipped and intercepted. He's picked off at his own 47. And he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. So they will tread backward on the holding penalty. And I know that they're going to get coached up and they'll get yelled at a little bit, but let's face it, it is hard not to do at the speed and pace that they play. So the special teams penalty cost some yardage there as they come out on first and 10. From the gun, Jackson. And he's got his receiver, that's Sammy Watkins. A gain of six there on first. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Jackson from the shotgun. He gets his underneath to Dobbins, and he's going to get this inside the 30. It's a first down on a gain of 10. <laughs> on first and 10, it's Dobbins. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Well, they're making a real first quarter statement with a run game, no doubt. For those who remember old school football, running it, establishing things, seeing backs find holes, get through them, they've got to like what they're seeing from this unit so far. Right now, they've decided to, set, as you said, establish the run game, and they've been successful doing it. Stepping up, he'll try and run, and he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Four yards, the pickup, first down. I do know that owners, when they watch their quarterbacks run with the football, they usually hold their breath because that's the franchise. But when you're getting that kind of a gain, hard to argue against calling it. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. They'll run. This is Gus Edwards. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Jackson on the give to Dobbins. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. A five-yard gain, and now they're set up first and goal. They'll try to run with Dobbins. And they'll get him down just shy of the goal line at about the one. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. Well, every now and then we have to let a cliche fly, partner. And in this case, what do they say in the NFL? 
your best ability is often your availability. And this is an extremely durable kid come out of Ohio State. Carried the ball every time they even thought about running it. Wore down defenses and able to break big runs late in games. J.K. Dobbins going to Baltimore, an absolute perfect fit. On second down, a run to Dobbins. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. J.K. Dobbins with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Ravens will extend their lead. Tucker now to add the point after. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. So that drive takes them down the field in eight plays. And it's finished off by a touchdown run from J.K. Dobbins. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense. They've been outplayed early, no question. Down 14-0 already as they come up first and 10. Seven yard line. It's interesting because when I'm watching college football and I'm evaluating guys for the draft now, my list of fullbacks, pure fullbacks, it's a very short list. I'm probably evaluating more punters and kickers now than I am fullbacks, but it doesn't matter what you call the position, it's who you put there, and there we saw a completion. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Carr with a play fake to Jacobs. And Bill drops incomplete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. It's always tough trying to keep your guy upright when he's trying to throw the football. And when you're dealing with those big bad guys on the defensive front, it's even tougher. And this time, those guys on the opposite side won the battle, getting to the quarterback and knocking him into an incompletion. From the gun now on third down, Carr got his connection complete to Ruggs. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. First down Vegas as Carr finds Ruggs that time. going to give it to Jacobs. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Well, that run right there was an offensive line coach's dream, wasn't it? Guys picked up all of their assignments, created a nice gap for the running back to get through, pick up seven yards. Yeah, he's probably chortling on the headset right now saying, we got it going, boys. Let's keep it going. 
on play action. Now Carr. It's brought incomplete. It's John Brown. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 44-yard line. 14 yards is the pickup there at a Raider first. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 44-yard line. From the gun, it's Carr. He's got the hook up to John Brown on the right side. A good pick up there, eight yards on the first down completion. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. And they run the option on second down. And he's going to be down close to a first down at the Ravens 31. Five yards is the pick up there as that extends this drive. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll run the jet sweep with Brown. Marcus Peters up to make the tackle. Play action. It's Carr. He uncorks it for Snead. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. I know he wants to get his team back in the game, but a 50-50 ball right there that maybe was a little questionable. Yeah, he's pretty lucky to get that one back. I think that sometimes these quarterbacks play with a lot of confidence that borders on arrogance, and that can put your team in some dutch. Yeah, especially maybe want to look at some safer routes after the interception he had that ended their last drive. He's got Snead. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Shotgun now for Carr. And he is caught at the seven-yard line. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. Here's Jacobs. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Taking it in from four yards out. And the Raiders have cut it back to within a score. Sometimes a group that gets overlooked, certainly, the offensive line. Right there, they really helped with that score. Didn't they tell us in our meeting that when we score touchdowns, running the ball, that means the offensive line actually scored first by moving people back beyond the end zone. We saw evidence of that on that play. Now for the extra point, Daniel Carlson. And that one makes it 14-7. to seven. So that drive, 12 plays in length. And it was capped off by a touchdown run from Josh Jacobs.
Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. Taken in at the three. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Well, the football back over to Baltimore and J.K. Dobbins. And he's found the end zone twice, and now I'm guessing he's thinking, hey, let's find it three times. And you got to figure from the defensive perspective, how has he gotten there twice? What are we going to do to keep him out for a third time? How do we tighten things down? Because he and his offensive mates, they are really in sync right now. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than Jackson hit, and he lost the football. So the big fella gets on the scoreboard with a return for a touchdown. Good thing he didn't have to go too far, though. You know the trainers were very happy about that. Imagine having to go get him in the end zone, escort him to the bench, and give him the oxygen. They were loving the fact that he got in without having to run very far. Carlson now to add the extra point. Now we've got a good one, Berlin. We're all knotted up at 14. The scoop and score are always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. This taken in about four yards deep. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. Now the Baltimore offense heading back out onto the field. And that last possession, really a gut punch. You seemingly had it working. You were in the midst of a very strong drive. Then suddenly the fumble, and you're watching the back of a defender's jersey as he brings it all the way in the other direction. There's not much more I can add to that. I thought you summarized it perfectly, partner. You've just got to regroup and start putting another drive together. That's all you can do. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their 25-yard line. From the gun, he'll set up to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. From the gun, it's Jackson. Catch is made by Marquise Brown. So from the 36 now, first and 10. From the gun, Jackson. Wide open is Watkins. He's got him. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Big yardage after the catch. That one winds up going for 36. I know we love our jobs. And pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Dobbins running out of the gun. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. 
These two teams all tied after one. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. And operating from the gun, Jackson. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And they've got it inside the 10 at the eight. That gain of 15 gets him on the doorstep, first and goal. Seems as if the passing attack starting to heat up a little bit here in the second quarter. You can sense and you can see the momentum because now they're reading their patterns downfield, they're understanding the coverages, and they're finding the open holes in the defense. They'll run with Dobbins. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Defense able to get there, swarm to the football. Zilch, zero, nada there for the offense, Charles. Yeah, it really was an example of good team defense, wasn't it? Everyone handled their responsibilities, and they held them to no game. And now he'll tuck it and run. He'll wind up getting three on the keeper there, but it leads to a third down. time Jackson will throw it and this is caught touchdown Baltimore Hollywood Marquise Brown there to make the grab and the Ravens have taken the lead we always admire a guy can go through his progressions and find the open receiver I believe we just saw that there and we admire him just a little bit more when it goes for a touchdown And a pause in the action because the booth, they see something that they want to take another peek at to find out if this was a touchdown or not. They had to go to the monitor, get an extra look. That's what the technology is for. And this touchdown will count. Now Tucker to add the PAT. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. So that drive in total eight plays. And it's capped off by the Baltimore score. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. And we have seen a lot on the scoreboard here in this quarter. So you know, you, sometimes you talk to me about tendency breakers on offense. These defenses struggling. Are there tendency breakers on defense? All defensive coordinators keep something in their hip pocket for these types of situations. What can we do to slow down the onslaught? 
But the biggest thing is make sure these guys encourage each other, pick themselves up, because right now, it's been a really tough ball game trying to stop these offenses. Oh, it really has, especially as of late. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. From the 22, here's second and eight. Operating from the gun, Carr, and he's got the hook up to Rose. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. A gain of 13, it's a first down. Running is Jacobs. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. From the gun, Carr caught by Snead over the middle. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Well, so much for getting separation. No chance there. Locked down tight, forcing the incompletion on that attempt. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. Throwing again. Carr back to Brown, this time complete. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Now a play fake, Carr. Reception here by Ruggs. And he is gonna have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. From the gun, it's Drake. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 14 yards is the pick up there at a Raider first. Well, they're getting ready to go to work now in prime real estate after that last run. Found his spot and picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. They go play action here on first down. This will be caught inside the 10. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down.
Operating from the gun. Carr. And he's going to go down. Sacked back at the 13-yard line. Derek Wolf in there to get him. It's a loss of five. So this has been a lot like a tennis match, hasn't it? Back and forth. Both of these offenses having their way so far. So maybe the question isn't who's going to score the most points in this game. Maybe it's who's going to get some stops. Yeah, absolutely. And that sack, finally a first step in the right direction for a stop. So first down went in the wrong direction. They're at the 13-yard line. Here's second and goal. Can't afford another delay here as they come up again on second and goal. From the gun, Carr. Over the middle here to Brown. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. Without the previous penalty, that would have been a first down. Instead, it's just a gain of 10. The Raiders on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This is third and goal. <laughs> Operating from the gun. Carr. Fine work by the Baltimore defense to help bring up fourth down. Fourth down, and on comes the Raider kicker, Daniel Carlson. From the left hash, a chip shot here. Carlson able to put this one through. And that'll bring him back within four. So they get three, certainly hoping for six after a 13-play drive. So you console yourself on defense by saying you did your job, right? If they go 13 plays, you only give up a field goal. You did a nice job there. But here's the other part. 13 plays, you don't force any mistakes. You don't take the ball away. Maybe that's the way they should look at it. After the made field goal, Carlson now sets up to kick this away. Taken at about the one. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Now we see Sammy Watkins getting ready to go again on offense. He's doing what he's capable of, having a solid game. Not, not the most amazing game. He's not over 100 yards, but a good game so far. And you just know that mentally... He feels like he's one catch away from turning it into a great game and starting on that road. And the defenders are well aware of that, too. They've got to figure out a way to not let that escalate. Keep him right in this zone here and call it a day because otherwise he can really decimate him. Better believe they are well aware of his playmaking ability. The throw here to Andrews, the tight end. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. a second and two after that last catch good for eight yards on second down here's the option and this won't be enough to pick up the first a gain of two third and one the 
Raiders call on a nickel set here for third down. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And he's going to have a Ravens first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. And this is one of those plays that if you can use it to keep the chains moving, it's a good play. And not only that, it tends to tamp down the pass rushers because they have to recognize this play and stay at home. The quarterback uses it well. Read option, keeps it, and picks up a first down with some nice running. And a minimal gain here as he's up to about the 47-yard line. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. And now Jackson will look to throw it. A short throw caught by Andrews. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. A short gain of just over two yards as the first half clock dips inside of three minutes. Jackson. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They get 14 on that one. That's good for a Baltimore first down. You know, Lamar Jackson last season, the first NFL quarterback with 3,000 or more passing yards and 1,000 or more rushing yards in the same season. And we've seen both of those talents on display here today. We just saw another completed pass. And everyone knew coming out of college he could run the ball. But for some reason, we didn't analyze it throwing the way we should have. I think every time he completes a pass, he says to himself, take that, evaluators. You guys really missed the boat on me. A reminder coming up here at halftime. We'll ship you off to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman will have first-half highlights and analysis from a back-and-forth first half that we've seen. He was looking for Watkins that time, but it's going to be second down. Defensively, celebration time because they finally forced an incompletion. He was perfect throwing the ball to that point. Yeah, but from his viewpoint, they didn't force the incompletion. He just missed. That's how hot he is right now, and that's how he wants to continue to throw the ball. <laughs> Second and ten. Here's Jackson again. Stepping up. He's going to keep it. Lamar Jackson, such a threat with those legs. Able to improvise and get the first. complete to his running back, J.K. Dobbins. And he'll take it from the 18 to the 15. A gain of three. Three yards the gain there, second down. <laughs> Operating from the gun, Jackson. The touch and timing are critical for those types of throws. He put a lot of zip on that one. Needed just a little bit more finesse trying to get it to his back. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. From the gun, Jackson. Escaping the pressure right. He may try and run for this. And the Ravens are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. A 
chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. They'll run here with Edwards. And again, touchdown, Baltimore. Gus Edwards taking it in. And the Ravens will add on to their lead. And on his way to the end zone, shedding the tackle, he would not be denied. That's what's called finishing the run, making sure you power your way through. One-on-one -on -one tackle, no running back wants to go to the bench and say, ah, I got stopped just short. Tucker now for the extra point. And that one pushes the lead up to 11. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And it's capped off with a Ravens touchdown. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked out officially at the 21. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. And you're under a minute to go in the half, a first half that hasn't been particularly kind to you. How do you think they'll play this? Well, I think the smart approach is to run out the clock, lick your wounds at the half, and see if you can come up with a strategy to play better in the second. But it's also something to challenging your offense right here. You know, hey, guys, you help dig this hole. See if you can get us out of it a little bit before the half runs out. Let's go make some plays. On first and ten, here's Carr. Throwing it over the middle, but it's incomplete. Trying to get it to Willie Sneed there. And it's second down. To throw again. Carr. And he comes back with one complete. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. They face a third and four after that last completion gets them six. Operating from the gun. Carr. And able to find John Brown. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. A first and 10 here. And you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. It's Darren Warner. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 25 yards that time. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it, sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Again, they'll throw with Carr. It's complete to Brown, right side. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. 
So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. He hit his first, this one from 40 yards out. The kick by Carlson is good, and that'll make this an eight-point game. So yes, they'll still be down going into intermission, but the deficit is now made even smaller, very manageable. Yeah, and if nothing haywire happens here in his last couple of precious seconds, they will go into the locker room with a nice bounce in their step, having gotten a little bit closer on the scoreboard. So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. And this will make it into the end zone. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. So time perhaps for one final kneel down before they take this lead to the locker room. The final second ticks by, and that's going to do it for the first half of play. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, Brandon, thanks very much, and welcome, everyone, to this abridged version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. Back and forth, we win in that first half. This has certainly been an entertaining one to watch thus far. So let's get right back out to it as we'll rejoin our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. Now this will make it into the end zone. And the half will begin with a touchback. Out comes the Raiders offense. They'll go on offense first to start quarter number three. They're down here, but very much in this game. What's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves them with two to go on second down. What a way to start a drive. An excellent run, a tone setter, and now if you want to take a shot on second down and go play action and make it look like the same exact play and throw it over the top, you can do so because you've established the run in a big way. Here's a second and two now from the 33. They go back to the ground, this time Jacobs. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right, he's pretty much been completely neutralized. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete.
Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. To throw again. Carr looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Drake. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. A second down completion got him seven. Now here's third and three. Trying to run for it with Jacobs. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. Losing two yards that time, and now it's fourth down. <laughs> I think sometimes when you're trying to get after the quarterback, maybe it's better to be lucky than great. Because I think on that one, he's just trying to get upfield and rush the passer. Instead, the tackle for the loss landed right in his lap. Here's A.J. Cole now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. Yeah, yikes. Terrible kick headed straight for the sidelines. The Ravens offense getting ready now for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Yeah, how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some <laughs> gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their 36-yard line. They'll start by running the option to the right. Oh, an absolutely filthy juke. He's got some space now. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones in a first down. Well, I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. Stepping up, he's Jackson hit, and he lost the football. And the Raiders pick it up. The big fella, the 40, 20, 10, and he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return for six and a Raider touchdown. So they were down by a touchdown, probably just hoping the defense could hold them, maybe force the punt. Instead, they force the turnover and take it into the house. Well, the plan was perfect. That's exactly what they wanted. Instead, they got a lot more than that. Big-time capitalization by taking the ball away and putting it in the end zone. So they need to determine if that knee was down before the ball was coughed up. And they also wanted to make sure that the ball was possessed as they were going through, that the ball wasn't working its way free before the knee hit the ground. First down now, here's second down. After the fumble recovery, it's Jackson. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's taken down inside the 30. 11 yards there, first down. Jackson. They'll roll him out right. Jackson hit, and he lost the football. Stay 
When that ball popped free, we could hear it all the way up here. Those guys down on the field alerting everyone of the fumble. He's lucky that his offensive mates picked him up and jumped on it. Yeah, and you have to think to yourself, and I'm sure they've been echoing it on the sideline and into the huddle. Guys, we have the lead. Just take care of the football. Don't make it easier for them to start to make a comeback. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Here's Jackson to throw. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. It'll be a gain of six, and that'll make it second down. Now that's often a surprise for the defensive guys when they see the big fella slide out of the backfield and catch the ball. Not something they usually go over in practice very often. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Now a carry for Dobbins. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and now they'll have it first and goal. And that last carry puts him right at 100 yards for the game. So how has he done it? Because he's been patient, followed his blocks, let everything develop, and then burst through for big gains. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Well, the spotlight hit him once already tonight as he got into the end zone. He was trying to make it a double spotlight, wasn't he? But credit the defense, bottling him up, not letting him get in for the second score there. Second and goal from inside the five. Jackson now. Fighting for the end zone. He lost the football. It's out. No partners that with every play call that came in there was a little discussion about hey we can seal this bad boy we can really put ourselves in a great spot to take total control and yet they find a way to cough it up yeah the two score game opportunity eludes them and now a chance for the other side to come back here yeah that means defense has to go out there and make some plays themselves so we call sudden change let's see if the defense is mentally ready to take care of it The Raider offense set to get this drive started. They're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get... Oh, he's not going to make it out of the end zone. The push too strong, and that'll be a safety. And you know, the man who sat in my chair the last few years, he has a theory. These plays, these safeties, they're so rare. Maybe they should be worth more than two, maybe four points. I think he's got a great point. I really do, Brandon. But I would go ahead and up it to six. I'm a former defender. Ooh. To me, that's like scoring a touchdown. Easy now. I'll go four. I don't know about six. Come on, come on. Come up to six. <laughs> a lot of points. Now the free kick comes after the safety from the 20 as they bring the punter on to try and get some hang time here. And he wants the football, and the Raiders pick it up past the 20. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return for six and a Raider touchdown. Trying to make a comeback often appears daunting, but the only way to get there, start small, score, and worry about getting the next one after that. Carlson on for the PAT. And the lead is down to a field goal now. So not only the cough up, but then the pick up on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown.
So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. This will be fielded inside the five. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Baltimore about ready to go on offense. Now, yeah, last drive, obviously not what you're looking for. You've got the lead. you got to protect the football. So, in other words, someone got lucky because they've been moving the ball really well and wearing them down. In this case, though, giving up the football doesn't make them very happy. They can't wait to get back out there and atone for it. Yeah, try to atone for it here on this drive. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 26. Jackson going to look to do it himself. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. of a couple on the play so now third down coming up well I think the hope is you know with a touch pass like that they, maybe you catch the defense off guard but they were all over that one and it is the kind of play that works better against certain defenses and this clearly was the wrong one to run into really nice job getting him down behind the line of scrimmage and the Raiders call on a nickel set for third down From the gun, Jackson rolling to his right. He can run for it, and he will. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. Well, another fine run right there for Lamar Jackson and CD. That one puts him over 100 yards now for the ball game. And remember when all we talked about were 100-yard games from running backs? Mm -hmm. That when a quarterback did it was a surprise? Well, Lamar Jackson, that's part of the package as well. He'll have as many 100-yard games in the season as the top running backs in the league. They'll run on first down. Dobbins. A gain of three, second down. Jackson. The left side, Andrews with it complete. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? Well, big plays back and forth just continue. Both offenses excelling. And I hear the excitement in your voice while you're calling this game. This hurts my soul as a defensive player watching these teams go up and down the field and put points on the Do board. Do me a favor the rest of the way. Sit back, relax, and just appreciate the offensive dominance that's going on out here. I'll give it a shot. Accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. The delay of game backs him up five, first and 15. Operating from the gun, Jackson. He'll hit Watkins on the crossing route. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone.
They go back to the ground with Dobbins. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. When the 4-3 defense is functioning really well, you know who stays what we call clean and no one gets to him? The guy playing the middle linebacker position, the guy we call Mike. That means the defensive front is eating up all the blocks and just let him go to the football and make a play. From the gun on third down, Jackson. And he's going to go down. He's sacked back at the 24. It's the former number four overall pick, Cleland Furl, that got in there to bring him down. So if we recount real quick, he had the touchdown earlier, and now he comes up with the sack here. No doubt about it, he's having himself a game. So on fourth down, here's the Ravens Pro Bowl kicker, Justin Tucker, out onto the field. From the left hash, this will be a 41-yarder. Tucker's kick is good. And the drive will wind up yielding three. So a good kick there to polish off the drive with three points. Yeah, coaches always talk about finishing a drive with a kick. Two of them give you points, either an extra point or, in this case, a field goal. Tucker now following the made field goal, set to kick it away. Fielded in the end zone. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. The Raiders offense now, they trot back out. And the last time they had the football, they surrendered two points on the safety. And they don't want to do that one again. No, not at all. It's almost like a bases clearing double, isn't it? Give up a couple of runs. Sure. <laughs> just, mess, just messes things up for you offensively. But now they've got to go ahead, take it, set it aside, and move forward. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Off of play action, he'll look to throw. And the Raven pressure too much. Down he goes. Calais Campbell finding his way home for the sack. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Sack. Quarterback gets hit. <laughs> That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. This pass into the arms of Sneed. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. That time they hit him out of the slot on the drag. And that route takes some fortitude from the guy running it because he knows he's going through the briar patch, as I like to call <laughs> it, right? He's trying to work his way through all that traffic and people wanting to put a little contact on him. Really well done. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Raiders on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This is third and 16. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And he'll be stopped at the 27-yard line, well short of the first down marker. It'll be a gain of eight, but it'll also lead to a fourth down. Here's A.J. Cole now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And a 
fair catch called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. It'll wind up just a 35-yard punt, no return. And the Ravens, they'll take over. The football back over to Baltimore and J.K. Dobbins. And there are the numbers. Got off to that torrid hot start. We thought he was in for maybe a career day. Not the case. No doubt about it. It almost looks like a misprint after what we saw in the first half. But let's give a little bit of credit to the guys on our side of the ball. They went in at halftime, made a few adjustments. And you know what else? They didn't lose their confidence in how their ability to play. Because a lot of times you get beat down in the first half. It gets ugly in the second half. They've come out with a new resolve and a renewed determination. Sliding out of the pocket. And he's going to keep it here. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. So now a fresh set of downs, first and ten after roughing the passer. Now Jackson. That's into the hands of the tight end, Boyle. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. That catch good for only a couple. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. From the gun, Jackson. Dancing to his left. And now he's going to use his legs. All that gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. His fifth catch tonight, and it's good for a first down. with a handoff to Dobbins on the option. And he will cross the 30 down to the 29-yard line. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Dobbins going to take the handoff on the option. And he's going to be close to a first down as he gets this to the Raiders 22. It'll go as a gain of seven on the play, and it sets up a third and in inches situation.
And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up fourth. Well, he's had success running the football in this one. Yeah, that's undeniable. But that time, the defense was on to it. And, partner, I think the more you see him play like this, the more they're able to diagnose it quicker and easier for them to defend it. I think you have to dress it up a little bit and show maybe some different formations and looks. The offense staying out. They're going to go on fourth and two. Oh, and now movement and a whistle, and they may have to rethink their plans on fourth down. The crowd's not doing that O-line any favors. Home field advantage is really kicking in, making it very difficult for them to hear the snap count. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to make it a two-score game. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. So his second field goal of the game, and that could turn out to be the big one. Yeah, you have to make them score twice to beat you, and that's not impossible. But here in the fourth quarter, puts their backs clearly against the wall. Tucker now following the made field goal, set to kick it away. And this carries into the end zone. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. Now the Raiders offense, they get set to head back on the field. And the complexion of this one has changed a fair amount. That last field goal made it a two-score game. So they need to get points out of this drive relatively quickly. come up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. And from the shotgun, he'll throw. Got an open man. It's Ruggs. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. and this is one way, work him out of the slot and create a mismatch. Who's going to cover him? Corner, safety, linebacker? He's got a way to beat all of those positions. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. From the gun, Carr. the incomplete pass brings him up second and ten to throw again Carr and this time he's got the hookup it's complete it's a first down on a gain of ten throw with Carr. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. 
I think you'd agree that looked like the right call from up here. No doubt about it. What everyone has to understand is that the officials are going to be right on the play each and every time. You may not like the call, but they're usually spot on. So the face mask, quite a blessing there as they'll start out of harm's way with a first and 10. Into the red zone, it's caught. Oh, no, he lost the football. So it goes as a fumble, but the key thing... Not a fumble loss. Yeah, that, that stat's big, isn't it? I mean, it, I remember watching teams play. The ball might be on the ground a number of times during the game, but the other team doesn't get it. That's a huge difference in the ball game. And in this case, they were able to retain possession. So they keep the ball, but work to do on second and long. From the gun, Carr. And Waller taking it in over the middle. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. to throw his car. That's complete. What a good game. And the Raiders are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. The sacks have been coming at him all game long. I'm frankly surprised that they haven't found a solution yet to create more time for him to throw it or maybe change what they do on offense. And yeah, that's one of the biggest differences in this game and why they're losing right now. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. Again, they'll throw with Carr. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. One well, of the great coaches said football is really a simple game. Rush theirs, protect yours. And he's talking about those guys throwing the football. In this situation, the rush won, hitting the quarterback and forcing him into an incompletion. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. Again, it's Carr. Back in the end zone, could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. Well, it's easy to see when we review this that the ball needs to come out quicker because if you don't throw it right on the break, you bring a crowd of people into the equation. And that's why it got knocked away there. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This just a 24-yard attempt. The kick by Carlson is good. And that'll move them back within six now. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. After the made field goal, Carlson now sets up to kick this away. And this will make it into the end zone. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. 
And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. Their lead back down to one score after the field goal a moment ago, so they'll be looking to string together a few first downs, likely on the ground as they begin first and ten. Jackson to throw. That's into the hands of the tight end boy. And he's going to be out and not out of the 45-yard line. Don't you do it. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. So now a fresh set of downs, first and ten after roughing the passer. Here's Dobbins. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. Throwing is Jackson. From the out route incomplete, it's Brown. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Jackson fakes the give and keeps it. Six yards there on the keeper. It's second down. Now that's what he can do you know, when he keeps the football. It's not a huge gain, but it shows how hard it can be to stop him. Yeah, and I thought the defense had that one pretty well contained. And in fact, they probably came up and felt pretty good about what they did. Then they looked up and realized he still got good yardage out of it. He's a tough guy to stop. So second and four from the 22. Tuck it and run. And he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. Only a yard there on the keeper, and that's going to leave him with a third down. Try and pick it up by running the option to the right. Oh, now he lost the football. And the Raiders pick it up. He's at the 50. 30. Past the 20. And he's into the end zone. It's a final return from six and a Raider touchdown. The offenses have success. You could say they've run wild a little bit. Time for the defenses to get into the act, and one does here. Nothing like a little bit of revenge for the defense. They've had to deal with it all game long. Both offenses going up and down the field. How about it when they take the ball away and take it to the other end zone? So we've got a challenge. Our referee's going to take another look on the tablet. He's going to be watching to see if the knee was down prior to the ball coming out. No, I love what you just said there. You nailed it because if the ball's shifting or moving before the knee or any other part of the body hits the ground, then that'll be considered a fumble. the kicker in a big spot here. This to make it a two-score game. Here 
So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. They're looking at a fourth down now as they try to hold on to this lead for dear life. And Tucker's kick right there. It's good. And that will make this a nine-point lead. And that one will go down in the books as just a one-play drive and then three points tacked on to the end of it. So that's a big one. Obviously, Charles makes it a two-score game, his third field goal of the game, able to knock it through. Yeah, not exactly free and clear yet, but as a defense, you get to play a little bit looser, don't you? Because you do now have a little bit of a margin of error, don't you? Tucker now following the made field goal, set to kick it away. Now this will make it into the end zone. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. So Derek Carr in the offense. Down by nine. A minute 56 to go. They'll need a score here and also likely an onside kick recovery. But first things first. First and ten. Screen to Drake. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Short play like that in this situation, this late, that's a win for the defense. No doubt. And I remember something Coach Madden used to talk about all the time. Sometimes you can't just take what the defense gives you. You have to take what you need. And in this case, the offense is taking what the defense is giving them, not what they need. To throw his car. Got an open man. It's Ruggs. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Carr signaling to his guys, let's go, let's go here. Carr to throw. protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Could have been catastrophic at this late stage of the game, but they avoid disaster. Good news, they kept the ball. Bad news, it's third and long. Back to throw, Carr. Now a leaping catch, he's got it. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 ticks remaining on the clock. They're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. They'll go for it. It's Carr. Able to find Walter. That's complete. Now the Raiders going to burn their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. Too shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. No. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all. And now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. 
So now a fresh set of downs, first and ten after roughing the passer. To throw his car. Oh, he had six points in his hands there, couldn't hang on. Second down. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. Play action. Now it's Carr. Going for it all. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off here by Jimmy Smith. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Down to Anigo's Jackson, and that should seal it. So the final seconds tick away in this Baltimore victory, and they were really helped by their defense, forcing three turnovers. I think what we saw in this one, today's defense. And what I mean by that is in the old days, pitching shutouts was big time. That was paramount. But the big thing was holding people down, holding down their yardage, right? Don't let them throw the ball through the air and gain a lot of... But now, it's about taking the ball away taking away possessions, getting the ball back for their offense. They had three takeaways in this one, and it led them to victory. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaughton. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say good night from Las Vegas.